Okay friends, it's time to get started on our job. One of the first things we want to do is start taking off this door panel right across here. To do that, I'm going to come right up to this area right here with a plastic trim tool and I'm going to carefully get in between and try to separate. There should be a push clip essentially right in this position. There we are, and we can carefully pull this off of here. Now we're going to start separating this wiring harness. I'm going to use a small pocket screwdriver and the area that you want to try to get in between is the two parts to the wiring. So essentially I'm just going to get right underneath this lip, gently pry it apart, and then we'll separate the two. Once you have it apart, give it a quick inspection. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and it would need to be dealt with. This one looks fine, so I'll set it aside. Now let's make our way down to this bezel right here. For this, I'm going to continue with my plastic trim tool and I essentially just want to get underneath one of the edges and I'll start gently prying this. Now as I pry it, I'm also going to pull on this door handle a little bit and I'll continue pulling it off. There's going to be several push clips behind here that you're essentially just going to need to pop free. There we are. I'll slide this off. There is going to be wiring behind this, so we're not going to go too far with it. To remove this electrical connector, we're going to come right over here with our small screwdriver, carefully lift up on this tab, and then we'll gently pry this off. Once again, we'll inspect that connector. If it looks good, set it aside. Behind that area, you're going to find a Phillips head screw. Go ahead and remove that screw. Let's move along to the window switch here. Carefully get underneath this area. We'll gently start pulling it up. Behind this, you're going to find another electrical connector. Let's go ahead and disconnect that as well. For this, you want to squeeze on this tab right here. Gently pull it up. Give it a quick inspection. Set it aside. Let's go ahead and start taking the panel off of the door now. Carefully get in between this area. Gently pry. Pull this right off of here. There we are. All right, let's go ahead and pull this out of the way. Now, as you can tell, there's still some wiring that's connected, but we're not worried about that. We're just going to go ahead and set this right down right here, and now we can gain access to our mirror mounting nuts. But before we start dealing with those mounting nuts, let's go ahead and follow the mirror wiring to where it connects into this assembly right here. There's a little tab that I'm going to go ahead and press in on, and then I can disconnect this. Quick inspection, make our way up here, go ahead and pop it off of this location, continue following it, separate that. Now we're going to make our way inside here, start taking this foam out of here. This is essentially just an insulator to help against noise. Now we can start removing our three 10 millimeter headed nuts. For the last one, I'm going to go ahead and hold onto that mirror so it can't fall on me. Let's go ahead and break this free. Get the foam off of there. Go ahead and pull the wiring out and through. There it is, friends. Now we can start putting in our brand new mirror. Let's start with that wiring. We're going to slide it right on through the hole. Now we can put this into position. We'll line up all three of our mounting studs, slide them in, grab our three mounting nuts. We'll start each of those and then we can snug them up. Once all three of your mounting nuts are started, snug them up. Now we'll just double check to make sure each of these mounting nuts are tight. You don't want your mirror vibrating on you while you're driving down the road. Now let's go ahead and get this wire into its mounting point here. And now we'll connect it in. Listen for a click. Give that a nice tug to make sure it's secure.
Let's plug in the mirror switch real quick. Now I'm going to put the key in the on position and we'll test our mirror to make sure it functions properly before we put everything together. Okay, I get side to side movement and up and down movement. This looks perfect. Go ahead and turn off that key power, disconnect the switch, and we'll get everything back together. Looking at your original mirror wire, you're going to see that you had this clip on there. It's essentially just a mounting clip. We're going to go ahead and take off the tape that's holding this to the wire, and then we can swap it over to the brand new mirror assembly. Now we can go ahead and start putting this onto our new wiring. Just going to get it in position. Now we can tape it on with some electrical tape or whatever you might happen to have. Essentially just whatever holds it on. Do a couple of runs. Now we can connect this in. Make sure it's nice and secure. All right, now we can go ahead and put this insulator back in here. You can see that it has the slot that goes around the wiring. And then you just go ahead and tuck it up and into the door. Now we're going to get ready to put our door panel back on here. I'm just going to go ahead and take these two wires and put them in the proper positions. For this one, which has the 90 degree bend, that's going to go up and through this top hole. This other one is going to go underneath through this area. Now you don't want to leave this hanging loose. This is actually supposed to be secured to this point right inside here. Now we're going to talk about how to get this door panel on. If I feel along this area here, I can feel a lip. That needs to fit up and over the door where it's going to mount. Also looking at this, you're going to find a whole bunch of little push tabs that need to press into the door. So of course you're going to want to make sure you have everything lined up and then we'll go ahead and press it in. All right, let's go ahead and get this up here. You'll also notice that I have this other small wire for the speaker up here. Now I'm going to take it and go nice and high. Essentially, I want to make sure that that lip that I showed you on the door panel slides up and over this area of the door. Once it's up there, I'm going to go ahead and rest it down and in. Okay. Now the next thing that I always do is just have a look down along the side of the door panel. I'm trying to make sure all those pins are lined up with their corresponding holes. Once they are, we can go ahead and press this in. Okay, it's looking good. Now we can put in our Phillips head screw. Make sure that's nice and snug. Let's connect in our window switch. Give it a nice click, give it a tug. Now we're going to go ahead and slide this down and into position. Lock it in. Time for this bezel. We're going to reconnect our connector for this. Listen for a click, a little tug. Now there should be a couple different press endpoints. Should be one there as well. Pull this. Slide this in. Lock it. Now we can get this corner piece in here. Let's plug that in. A little click. Give it a tug. I'm just going to take this, slide it down. Bring this down and into position and press it in. Okay, so at this point, we got the car back together. What's left to do now? Now, of course, you're gonna wanna test it and make sure it functions properly. After that, go ahead and take it for a road test. Thanks for watching.